RV from a Canadian RVer. What I'm doing in this video is talking about our washer and dryer and why I'm doing that is we've had a few comments in our previous uh, videos people asking about our washer and dryer and what I thought of it so I thought I would do a review we've had it now for about four years and I can say that we've used it a lot when it comes to washing now what I mean by that is if you're just doing a small load that will fit in there we've had some towels we've had some sheets we've had some clothes like shirts and underwear and socks that you would wear and it does a very nice job of washing clothes so let's go through the the mechanics a little bit more and uh, the controls right up there you can see where you can select different cycles for different fabrics then we have the water temperature that you can select then we have the drying time and the drying cycle here we have a bunch of indicator lights that tell you if it's in a wash, rinse, spin, or dry. And we have some top buttons that you can do low heat, pre-wash, extra rinse, low spin, and then of course the start button with the on and off button. So going back to this side, this is where the dispenser is that you would put in your uh, proper low suds um, washing uh, detergent and then you would put in your your water uh, your softener and you can put in the bleach if you wanted to use now how does it dry clothes if it doesn't vent outside well from what I understand there's there's one process it's called condensing and what happens is way up in this part here you can hear water boiling as the clothes after they've been spun to get all the water out of them and it spins quite high, it, you, you can feel it. Sometimes if the load is not 100%, you can see, feel it rattling a little bit. And you gotta be cautious with your loads that it's well distributed, but it's pretty smart. It will distribute the load as, as good as it possibly can by moving the tub around with the, the, the wet clothes inside. So now, it's actually done the spinning at 1800 RPMs. Then what happens up in this corner, you hear that there's some water boiling and it boils for you know one or two minutes getting really hot and then as it'll start spinning the clothes breaking them all apart from the spin cycle and then what happens is that boils the water it injects steam into the clothes as they're falling around and because we don't have water right now I plan to do a follow-up video to this which will be a full wash and a full dry so you can actually see how well the clothes come out so now what happens is the steam is being injected into the clothes as it's falling through then what happens is the the chamber up here stops uh, the process of boiling water and turns the into a condensing area so it puts cold water up into this one chamber as the clothes are falling the air is going through the chamber taking the humidity and the steam out of the clothes and that's I believe the drying process of how this model dries with no vent now the the disadvantages um, it, we've tried some heavy towels and we found that it takes way too long to, to dry them so sometimes just by the spin cycle it reduces all the water and then we'll just hang them outside if they're heavy but other times when it's been raining or bad weather outside we've actually allowed the, the, the dryer to dry it completely and it does a very good job but it does a great job on say light shirts and underwear and socks and light materials all also, too, if there's any bed sheets, we've done our full bed sheets into the wash cycle, and you'd be surprised how much you can get in there when there's no water on the clothes. Once it, water gets on them, it squishes them down to about half. So it does a good job that way. So now what uh, Forest River did in this model, the Georgetown XL Black Diamond, we are already pre-wired with power for the back where the plug is you can see it in the back and then this other side here is where the the drain hose is and we had the the breather pipe was there and also you can see where it goes into the corner there and it's pretty dark in that corner um, where you can see it that uh, it, it goes into the drain let me get a, a, a flashlight and see if I can give you that's a little better right there now you can see where the the drain comes out and goes into that uh, header part right there there's a, a trap all the way down and in the corner you can see 
that we have a, a trap right there and it goes into the main uh, drain system, which is right there. And there's the breather pipe that goes all the way up to the top. So now, going back to the machine. There we go, the light's off. Um, the machine is great. We've had uh, good luck with it. It works well, like a little workhorse. And the drying side is still good, but again, just long as you use, you know, light clothes. If The towels will start to dry, but it takes quite a while, and I've even had it up here to the most uh, uh, very dry part, and it could take up to two hours sometimes to take all the moisture out. But nine times out of 10, what we do is we use it for washing, which does a great job. And then the drying, we'll set the drying cycle for, you know, an hour or two or something, and then take the towels out and just hang them. But for everything else, like it's a shirt or, or socks or underwear or light garments, it works great. What we'll do is we'll let it dry right through. Then we'll put on, we'll take them out, like just shake them. Um, the rest of the humidity out of them and hang them up either outside or or even inside in the closet and it works great so that's our Splendetti we have the model 7100 XC starting off with WC in the front so that's the unit thanks for watching this is V from a Canadian RVer please subscribe please give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in our next video